Hello everybody, this is Bronislava. I have a blog, Handmade Rukodilky. You can visit it to see many other patterns. And also I wanted to tell you to subscribe for notifications whenever I go and publish a new video. And I would like to also uh, point out that I do have links below the video in the description if you need any other help with any projects that I usually uh, post on my YouTube channel. In this video I will teach you how to calculate sleeve stitches for the side of the sweater. So if you look at this image my lesson is going to be about that side part where the sleeve is being cast on. So I will teach you how to calculate those stitches for that cast on along the side of the sweater. First, what you need to do is make yourself a swatch. And this swatch should be big enough so you can figure out how many stitches you need to fit along the rows. I took a swatch image and turned it into several images, identical images, where I can go and show you the width of the stitch and then the height of the stitch or basically of the of each row okay the height of the stitch is a height of each row in this image you actually see both height and the width of the uh, of the stitch so the blue arrow that you can barely see there on the on the screen is the width of the stitch and the red arrow is the height of the stitch or basically the height of the row okay right now it's starting to be very interesting okay i made another image for you where i combined both images the height of the stitch or in other words height of the row uh, with width of the stitch and you can see that the blue arrow which is width of the stitch is a little bigger than the height of the row or height of the stitch right so we need to fit lower number of stitches into higher number of rows in this case we need to fit five stitches into seven rows in other different patterns it may differ. It may differ with the thickness of the yarn. It may differ with lacy patterns. It may differ with cable patterns and so on. Therefore, I would really advise you to do a swatch with your pattern so you can go and see how many stitches, the number of stitches can fit into how many number of your rows. Now we are going to go and try to solve this cast on puzzle mathematically. So imagine that you need 25 stitches to cast on for your sleeve and that is also according to your pattern. Let's say lacy pattern, cable pattern, whatever, okay? So if my five stitches fit into seven rows then I need 25 stitches, which is five times more, along my 35 rows, which is also five times more. So this is what I would do. I would go and turn my work sideways. Okay, I would measure where is half. So I would have 17 stitches on one side, 18 stitches on the other side. Okay, or 18 and 18. Uh, but again, we do need to go and take into consideration a pattern. So that's why you would need to go and uh, add a stitch or two, all right? And then I would actually cast on into every stitch along the rows. So I would pick up 35 stitches. So because I would work into every row, I would cast on 35 stitches and that would be my first row. In second row I would decrease my stitches into 25 stitches total for my sleeve. And I already calculated that I would work like this. 
I would knit two stitches, then I would knit two together, I would knit one stitch, and then I would knit two together. And I would repeat this five times, which means that I would turn seven stitches into five stitches, and I would do that five times. So from 35 stitches, I would end up with 25 stitches. And from this point on, you would knit your sleeve either straight up or with the decreases, depending how you want it around your wrist, if you want it hugging or if you want it wide. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. I hope uh, that this video is very helpful. Always check for other helpful links below the video. Don't forget to like the video, share your input and ideas, uh, spread the word, tell your friends and families, subscribe, follow me on social media, and I thank you very much again, and you will see me another day.